Well, now that she's 50, Barbie is taking on her biggest challenge yet. CBS News correspondent Celia Hatton reports. China's giving in to pent-up demand for a plastic icon. Barbie's making a flashy debut here with her first ever store, the House of Barbie in downtown Shanghai. I always wanted a Barbie, says this customer. We didn't sleep last night. The sixth floor dream house features every Barbie ever made, including her new Shanghai friend Lin, complete with multiple shopping bags. But the store's designers aim to move beyond box sets, giving customers a full experience. <laughs> Modeling copies of Barbie's clothes, visiting the Barbie spa, and even designing their own mini outfits. All along, creators had to answer new questions about Barbie, including what she'd eat in her two restaurants. The menu went through a lot of evolution, you know, and maybe in the beginning there were a few things that, you know, we kind of then realized, no, Barbie wouldn't eat that. You don't look like that and, and eat that. The tiny wasted doll ended up with a mostly healthy diet, typically munching a fashionista salad before splurging on her own blondie brownie dessert. Adult customers might want to end their day at the store's cocktail bar, where Barbie lovers might meet the Kens of their dreams while enjoying, you guessed it, a Barbatini. The House of Barbie was consciously designed to make its namesake a hit with children and adults. Chinese women have no nostalgic history with Barbie, and most still don't recognize her. She looks very fashionable, but I don't know her, says this girl. I'm not sure who she is. She could be British or American, guesses this woman. It's a gamble whether all Chinese women will idealize a blonde, blue-eyed doll. But China's a prize that Barbie's parent company Mattel can't ignore. Barbie's sales are dipping in the West, but her fortunes could turn around in Chinese cities, where the government allows each family just one child. You've got parents, you've got two sets of grandparents are spending a lot of money on making their children happy. And that's why Mattel could really do well if they can get the young girls saying to their parents, to their grandparents, I want a Barbie doll, buy it now. Because people will certainly spend money on their children. So in her 50th year, Barbie's got a rare chance to start fresh. The Chinese girls embrace Barbie's pink kingdom, an American mainstay could find new life in China. Celia Hatton, CBS News, Shanghai.